listeners and welcome to a different video something that I can uh, post uh, through the weekend not through the weekend through the um, through the week since on weekends I'll have guaranteed two videos so I'll have this one since the um, something like filler once in a while I don't think I'll post like every single day two videos just because school and stuff and blah 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 nobody cares so I'm on uh, Harbon and we'll just hop on. <laughs> we'll just look through the cards. I already seen all of them, so no, might as well throw my shitty opinion here. I have 16 cards, 135. I won't do these too often. Like have 16. Probably when there are like about 30 more cards, I can do another one. So let's start. We have Verdant Long Neck. Uh, have a five mana five four battle cry adapt. Hopefully the adapt. Thing is around here, so I can show you guys. Not here. Anybody have? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> so the adapt mechanic, because they apparently don't want a new cure. Adapt. Oh, discuss adapt. Is it here? Can I show the options? Ah, perfect. Production quality. <laughs> oh my god, the stream yesterday was so bad. Holy shit. The the start they had they didn't have a mic. It was not working. <laughs> it happened twice. It's like okay guys that that's some good call. It's like let's see the next card. Okay, cool cards. Like all a bit delayed, like frame, like frame stop randomly. They would like keep talking. That you hear the audio, but it just like freeze. Like okay, weird. But let's talk about the adapt. I see which are good and which are not good. So five mana, five four beasts for druids. Well, that's where it's pretty good. It's a beast, so it's be the turn. So I have hearts and open. Which I'll also use to quickly navigate through some. Uh, don't have a. Don't have some. Yeah. Mm. Again, production quality, as we. <laughs> you all know me for. Where's Druid? Oh, I'm a moron. He drops. I have the Menagerie Warden. So playing the Warden Lockneck. Right before the Menagerie Warden is gonna be really good. So you don't have now you have the Tiger because before then you just had if you would search up Beast, you just had the wait, it doesn't give me the tag Beast for five. You had the Stampeding Kodo, which could have been pretty good. This this was for some odd reason not a Beast. So we had second turn, turn and maybe sometimes the Stampede in Kodo. So now we have a second option. Which is good. So let's look at the adapts. We have Death Red Lose Summon 2 1 1 plants, which I think is really good. In total, if you don't really add them up, I was like 5 4. If you manage the Warden, that. So you have like 4 1 1s out of it. So first one, really good. Plus 3 attack, it's a 5 mana 8 4. Well, people don't play a 7 mana 7 4 that in aggressive decks. In beast decks, that's something like you will most likely never pick. Only if you're like, okay, well, he just used a lot of his like medium removal, like swipe or like shadow ball, like uh, some other stuff, like a weapon. So you just plunk the 8 attack and then he has to use something like maybe like a uh, last crystal potion and stuff like that as hard removal. Like a 5 drop, which would be really good. And so threatens little late game. Uh, can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Ah! The hero power part is pretty pointless. Most of the time, it's just like. It can't be healed, it can't. Pretty much, it can't be pinged. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, and the spells. It can make a pretty resilient uh, minion, depends on what you're facing. If you're facing a mage, going for this is probably gonna be really good. Against a mage, a rogue, what else? Against a warrior, probably never. Against another druid, probably never. Against a shaman, depending on their board state. But this is like, depends on the matchup and the board state, what you get. 
Divine Shield, 5 mana, 5, 4, Beast, Divine Shield. If you can manage the reward than that, that's bonkers. That's absolutely bonkers if you can manage the reward than that. Uh, so yeah, Divine Shield really good. This is really good to like, this is like an always pick whenever. This is dependable, depends. Wind Fury. 5 mana, 5, 4, div Okay. Wind Fury. Okay, okay. Uh, have Doom Hammer. Uh -huh. Let's go to crafting. Eh, uh, that, that one. Oh, oh. Mm hmm. 5 mana, 5, 4, 5 mana, 3, 5, Wind Fury, not going down. 5 mana, 5, 4, Wind Fury. Uh, yeah, that's, um. <laughs> dog shit. Unless you, unless your opponent has nothing and it's just like you're, that's, unless you want to threaten lethal, don't expect your minion will survive, but threatening lethal it's okay, like this, don't expect to survive, but threatening lethal, pretty good. Taunt, it's a booty bay bodyguard, it's a beast. Uh, <laughs> so, unless you're dying, this, even if you're dying, if playing a booty bay bodyguard won't save you. It's still pretty bad, but it's, it's okay just in case. 3 health, that's really good. 5 mana, 5 7 beast. That's almost guaranteed to survive. It's like the tiger. 5 mana, 5 5 stealth is guaranteed to survive because it has stealth. 5 7, that's some really good stat line. It's like, uh, like the pit fighter. Good. But you have one more health, and it's also a beast. It makes the card really good. Plus 1, uh, 1 plus 1, 5 mana, 6 5. How do you do it? Like 5.65? <laughs> Certainly not. Or like 6.5. Is it like 6 to dot 5? <laughs> um, yeah, it's an, a more aggressive stat line. That's not as a as, uh, plus 3 attack. Probably is. Eh, it's mediocre. It's like Princess Uhuran for uh, Hunters. Uh, sadly, this like never gets to trigger a friendly minion's death rattle. When you just play it, it's, it's okay. 5 mana 6 5, pretty aggressive, deals a lot of damage. It's okay. And this has an upside, and this doesn't, but it's, it's okay, I guess. Stealth, it's a worse tiger. But set putting for like lethal, can't get it and destroy any minion damage. This is probably the worst one. And all it does having that is counter the next card we're gonna look at, sadly. So I think it's gonna be a playable card for certain. Like, what do people think? It's like meta defining, fuck no. Playable, yeah, a lot of people think it's playable because it has a, a pretty good stats before it's above every stated minion, so it makes it pretty good, especially in the arena. But I think the attack keyword is pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> let's not dust that. <laughs> uh, next we have Swamp King Dread for Hunters. 7 mana 9-9. Nine, nine. Now the stats are very good. 7 mana 9-9 nine, nine bees. What do Hunters have? Let's look at Hunters. And like the early game stuff. We have High Main which are like... Bonkers have Call of the Wild. I'm notoriously <laughs> known for loving King Christ, so I always add him, nor I can. Uh, so this is kind of your main uh, big ass creatures. And ha adding another one on turn seven. Hunters don't have seven drops. If you look at neutral seven, Don Hancho. Well, that was about it. Hunter would ever play. So it's something good for hunters to play. As the stats are really good, 7 mana 9 9. Makes it really threatening. It requires really hard removal, not like, ah, fireball ping, kill it. It requires like hard removal, like hex and that sort of stuff. And let's be honest, your high mains are uh, way more dangerous. 
that's way more dangerous. But this is the thing, the after your opponent plays a minion attacks it. Now I think this can be either really good depending on what matchup you have or uh, horseshit. Well I guess an adapt minion that might be like cheaper. Although I don't think adapt minions will be um I don't think there will be a 2 mana adapt minion. It's because I should really keep the adapt thing open so we can like look at it a bit more. Um giving something like summon two one one plants on a two drop, uh, that's haunted creeper and that's broken as shit, so they will do I don't think they would see that, so it'd be okay. So let's take it from like four drop. If we play a four drop, it gets poisonous. Oh, well, that is pretty fucked. If it gets divine shield, that's also fucked because you play it for free and just takes like four damage for no reason, right? I guess that that minions, it can be like if they play it and they're like, well, I don't have divine shield nor this. I have like plus three health, worthless, 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 bad. This is. It's actually might kill the the Swamp King Dread plus three attack, which might be really hilarious. Then this, ah, it's okay. Just play two one one, deal damage to this thing. Thing is, let's look at it. You can remove this minion by playing creatures. So I think. Depending on what the matchup is, you might get completely fucked. Something like a druid, well, druid can clear this, but they play Verdon Lockneck and they deal 8 damage to this, and they might have like random shit on the board, like living roots, but I think that's getting rotated out. Something like can deal 1 damage or 2. Well, like, great, I just killed this thing. Although it's 7 mana, has a lot of health, it's 9 nice, makes it pretty good card. I like it, it's good for hunters, another big creature that. As to high mains, go to Wild and King Crush, and I will always play King Crush. Because I love that card. I should disenchant the card once. I got it again. <laughs> now, Mage. Uh, let's start with the. The Archonologist. So it's a 2 mana 2 3. Okay, really good stats. Really good. It's good stats. And draw a secret from your deck. <laughs> oh motherfucker! Can you talk about the fact that Mad Scientist was arguably the most broken? Is arguably the most broken to drop that has ever been printed in Hearthstone? You can probably argue for that. And it was done when in the first expansion, where all the previous cards were worse. Yes, fuck that card. By now, it's only for Mage. Mage have three drop secrets. Uh, that's really good for them, just because they can go immediately into. Um, into Kirin Tor Mage, right? Have a lot of good secrets like Mirror Ending that you want to play. Maybe this, not really. And for defensive decks, it's like get your Ice Barrier and get your Ice Block so you don't die. You can flash them out of your deck, which is really good. This is like, there's not much talk about this card, it's just like really good in like a secret based deck, which is gonna try to out tempo with secrets and like Kirin Tor and Kabbalah Lucky. And for like freeze mage decks, which might be there because they are lost frost lands or ice lands, it's just a really good card to face those things. Now this little guy, Pyros. So it's a two mana two two that returns to your hand as a sixes, and that returns as a ten ten. I really like this card. You no, know, in like problem is it has to be in a control matchup for the six six and the ten ten to be valuable. Although it has an advantage that you can play it uh, against um, aggressive decks, the 2-2. Two -two. You just have like, oh well I have nothing to play but might as well play a 2-2. Two -two. Right? Might as well have something on the board that can defend yourself. Uh, it works with Nassau which is a really interesting thing. I love that because it's like infinite value against like control decks. Okay, a 6 mana 6 is, you can play it. There's no question about that. Where are the... 
What do people think about it? Table, yeah. But a lot of people go f go to bed. Because when can you play a 10 mana 10-10? Ten, ten? Wait, I, ha I actually have the card for some other reason. When can you play this card? Ever. Like, if you get it for free, that's cool, but when do you find the spot to play a 10 mana 10 10 if you don't have the board? Even in a control matchup, the 6 6 is probably gonna eat some sort of removal and have the 10 10, but if it gets removed, like an execute or something, and then the other person plays another big card, you're probably in big trouble, so. Depends on how strong it is. Although, uh, getting a 2 2 and a 6 6 pack makes it for, like, really good with. Uh, Result, which I'm excited. This card is depends on the matchup and depends on how well can you play the 10 mana 10 10 without getting completely fucked. I have Dino Size, uh, so 8 mana, set of minions, attack, and health to 10. I don't have this thing back. Weird. Um, so it's a Paladin buff. It's pretty much if you have a guy on the board. If I have something on the board, it's up to 9 damage of burst because a 1-1, one, one, there's 1 damage already. It's a bit weaker, it's a little bit weaker than a... Uh, uh, Pyroblast. Oh, but you can use this as effective removal, unlike Pyroblast. You have a 1-1 one, one of board left over, they have like a 5-6. You can dinosize the 1-1, one, one, kill the 5-6, you already got a good trade, and you have... Uh, eight five, no, a ten five on the board, which is or a really big threat. So this is a card that creates, gives you a lot of burst damage, and c creates another threat in your deck, making just a random one one a threat, and it has the versatility to. Playing it immediately, killing something off, and you have like a big creature that has to be answered right that turn because you might smack them in the face for 10 next turn. It's a big deal. But yeah, I, I like this card. Depends how well can, can you like make sure you have a 1-1 one, one, because if you play a 1-1 one, one, then you dinosize it, you pretty much play the 10 mana 10 10. And yet again, um, how well can you play that? Hmm. A 10 mana 10 10. That. That's the question of, for me for this expansion. Can you play a 10 mana 10 10? If yes, then I love Hearthstone. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit skeptical in the fact you could play a 10 mana 10 10. I have Priest. Let's start with this card. I have a 4 mana 2 6 taunt. Okay. So we'll go straight to Warrior. 4 mana 2 6 taunt. Splatful Drave, as we all know, uh, that stat line is very good and it's very defensive. Now, uh, Bloodhoof Brave has the advantage of if it gets attacked by something, it becomes a really big threat. I think like Warwind is a 4 mana 5 5 taunt, which is like really good, right? This card it has Death Rattle give a random friendly minion 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this is intended for like having a tr um like a two drop, then Cabal Talon Priest, then playing the um, Shell Razor. It has stone, so it's literally guaranteed to give a minion plus one plus one. This is a really good statted minion. I have a feeling because it has Death Rattle and Worst with Nazat is gonna be completely bonkers. Like pulling two taunts out, you're pretty much never going to die, right? So you can get to Nazat, this is Oopsie, it's really good, but I think Bloodhood Brave it's better than the Shell Racer, even though this card is really good and it's gonna go right away in those decks. It's a much to say. I have Awakened the Makers. I have summoned seven different minions, reward Amara the Warden of Hope. Uh well this card 7 Death Rattle Minions. So let's see. Death Rattle. Did I mispronounce it? It's double T, right? Yeah. I uh, just. Fucking hell. 
this red door. Okay. So let us go to priest. That's not priest. That 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 priest. Have shifting shade, which is in Western Thor of the Old Gods, so we will have a four drop for this. Although you, you will not have the museum crate, so this is rotating on which is a big deal. It's like two more death rattles. So I have two death rattles here. Have Mistress of Mixtures, which is run a lot in this optic to have something to heal yourself with. Loot hoarders is a given. Have two two shit. Blood Mage Talnos, not really, it's usually loot orders in Priest, you don't have doing the spell damage. This is where it gets tricky. You can opt for a Hover's Golem, which actually might synergize very well with the Shell Razor. Have the Shell Razor, I will add Harvest Golem because I think it's pretty good. This is to run just because it had Taunt, but I think the Shell Razor might replace it. Have Sylvanas who's leaving, have Karen. So, your curve is not looking too bright for Death Rattle minions, but you definitely have enough to get Amara, which I really want to show you guys. So, 5 mana, I think it's 5 mana, uh, 8 8, 5 mana, 8 8 taunt, which sets your here to 40, which is completely bonkers. You know, One, you have 5 mana, 8 8 with taunt. That's, you already create a really big threat. That's also defensive. And you get to, to 40. I say what? It's like the quest reward for this is really good, but depends. I think there's the Blizzard needs to release one more Death Rattle minions because we have something on four, four. have uh something on two, we have another thing on two, we have so we have four cards on four, uh two on one, uh two on two. 2 and 3 Because the Shell Razor, this is not gonna be played um, Need another 3 drop with Death Rattle, they have like a 6 drop And then let's see some craftable that I'm missing that might mm, be good This, but another 4 drop and there be way too many 4 drops, I don't think that and then what? Let's see some death rattle minions. No, no, no. Out. No. No. So we need another three drop, and maybe a seven drop, something like that, with death rattle to like have like a really good curve, or actually a five drop, if I'm not mistaken. I have corrupted heal bot, which is okay value. Ah, I should have that. Hmm. Might play that. You're a priest. You barely deal face damage. <laughs> So I think the quest is doable and the reward is really high. Oh boy. Have Sherazine Corpse Flower. Have a five, 4 mana 5-4. Five, 5-3 five, I mean, or even worse. Uh, Death Rattle. Go Dormant. Play 4 cards in turn to revive his minions. So I have like something... Problem with these cards and like the... It has a spot on the board. If you revive it with Nuzov. That thing is always going to be on the board, so one spot is out with Nazat, right? It's always out. You revive like... Let's say you revive one. By some fucking miracle, you play four cards in a turn. Let's go to Rogue. You have like backstab... Maybe a shadow step with like... Uh, like a journey below, deadly poison on this thing. A burglar, you play it again, you're like a Vista, you have like Ferryman, you have like some card from this, with like a Shiv. There's a lot of like early cards you can play, so reviving the Sherezin once is 100% doable. If you can revive it a second time, the card is like really good, right? You can revive it another time, because you get two free 5-3s, it's good. More removal, more stuff that can go face. But when you dissolve it, let's say you die three times. Uh, well, there's three spots on the board. Let's say that's the only card that died. You have like another Shirazim, it comes up. Well, your board might be full and literally you can't do anything with it. What? Like if like, oh, you have 
three more Syrians and three of them are dormant. Where if he excavates the evils, how do you revive all of them? See, like having too many of them, you don't play it in an assault deck. You play it in a more aggressive deck, one hundred percent. A more aggressive deck that's like cycle. Probably in the Burgle deck, like have a coin from this. With like zero poison, man, you have like poison. I think that's the deck it's gonna be in. So, um, don't play the Nazaf deck for the love of God. Shaman. Ooh, this is a card that I like. Volcano, 5 mana. Overload too, so it's pretty much a 7. It's not 7 mana. We know that Overload is not. You don't add them up. It's more like 6 mana. Kind of like that. Uh, deal 15 damage, randomly spit among all enemies. So, you play this in like a really heavy uh, Shaman deck. Maybe you have like Earth Element, with like Hammer of Twilight, this, like the combo. Actually, let me. No, what Shaman? Crafting, anything else? Yeah, with White Eyes and Halazeal, right? You have to 6 drops, you have things fr thing from below. Of like fire elementals, you know, like add a here, and this doesn't come because you don't it won't be a J deck that. So volcano in that deck, since you won't have be having many minions, just gonna fucking merge the whole board, and I like that they have like something with six health, something with like one health, something with three health, all out. So I love it. I can only hit minions. So this is a really good control shaman card. Um, does that exist? I don't know. Maybe uh, J J. Shaman is probably broken more stuff way better. Like, I hate Jade Druid by the way. It's like, uh, to be playing it. I have Lakari Sacrifice. Let's start with the Philhound first. A 4 mana 3 8 taunt. Battle card is card 2 random cards. So let's go to this guy. This card. Let's see all or what or, 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 uh, uh, the discard Arson have the Malkus are imp, which this synergizes is wonderfully. And Dark Shadow Librarian to discard something and get you more cards, so it works. It's good that Succubus you never played. Have Soul Fires in that deck. Have Silver World Golem which you want to discard. Uh, Fifth of access If they don't bring something that you want to discard, you will have to run the fist. Have Doom Guard. It's also two cards, but the thing Doom Guard is five mana five seven with charge is broken. I'll go to four mana three eight with taunt. Um let's see, go back. Hey, this where is the fell guard? There is Felgar around here. Wait, what? Anyways, that card is shit, right? So you don't play a 3 mana 3 5 of Thorn that discards a card. Because that's not valuable enough. You play a 4 mana 3 A, so it's a Sengin. Well, so Felgar is a Sengin that counts one turn earlier, which is not good enough. It's a Sengin that has 3 more health, and it's also a demon. Worth to play to discard two cards? I don't know. You can curve into Tiny Knight of Evil if you coin it out really well. It becomes like a 2 mana 5 4. So. It's a really good card, but. Don't know if it's worth discarding 2 cards. But when you look at the quilts, they have like. The card is sacrificed. So you discover. Discard 6 cards. And you get a Nether Portal, which is a 5 mana spell. That gets on the board, which also uses a space, which I, I hate is that a lot of things that use a space on the board. And you sp it spawns 2-3-2 two, two imps, which is like infinite value. In what deck do you play that? Do you play in like more? Because this is like... If you play this in zoo, and you, have, and you don't discard anything, this is completely broken. So I think in a, in a zoo uh, type of deck, this will be really good. In a more controlly deck, you might lose a lot of cards. That's why I even took out the soul fire from my arena demons. It's out. I put something like. I can't remember what I put in. Oh, I put a slash belcher in. Because the soul fire just discards my arena. Discards all these good, good cards, late game cards. 
if like Lakari Philhan discards like two late game cards, then you might lose the late game. That's why I uh Lakari sacrifice um Yes, it mean you win the game, you have like infinite three to imps if you get the portal out, you play it, and then your opponent doesn't beat you in like three to four turns, you probably won. And depends if you can win, because if it just gets pain you'll cry yourself to sleep. So I'm skeptical about the discarding things. I never like discard by the way. <laughs> Warrior, explore Angor, replace your deck with copies of this of a discover card. Well, this is very gimmicky, and I really like it for... It's like Renounce Darkness. The thing is, with Renounce Darkness, you could make like a good... Just make a demon deck. You make this. You make this thing, which... Almost... It's only Warlock cards. So you make this deck, which is pretty good. It's only demons. And you have like one Renounce Darkness in here somewhere, depends on what you cut out. Like, oh, well, cool, uh, the demons are not working, and you just replace your deck. Like, if the demon part side of things are not working, like, you don't have, like, a Malganis. Let's see your top end gets beaten, you have, like, Blood Fuel Potion, like, like this, like, er more early game cards, you get a control deck, just, like, they don't do much, you replace them and get something. Well, with this, you already make a pretty top-heavy deck, so I think this is gonna be like, you can put in Control Warrior. This is more like a fun card, just play it on turn 2, then you have fun, but you'll, if you play this on turn 2, you probably lose, by the way. Just saying. You play it on Control Warrior. It's like the Golden Monkey. I'm like, okay, this card is pointless, I'll keep it. This card is pointless, I'll keep it. And like, okay, you have, I have all these board clears, they are useless against this thing. You go to fatigue, you explore on Goro, you have like six discover cards, which are more weighted towards your like uh against like more of the end side. So you get like Arcanine Reapers, Iron Force Portals, Fools Bane, Ali Armor Smith. Uh I'm in Wild, so that's not there. I have like Chromage, Obsidian Stray, and Gore have like these really good car Legion cards that are more inclined to get, especially Legendaries. Uh, so I think it's like, it's a fun card, but it might have a, a one-off in Control Warrior, because of course one-off. Might be interesting to try out. I have the Neutrals, uh, oh, it's, that's in their portal. And this is, that's the Shirt in Seed. It's infinite mana, infinite, infinite. See, 10 mana, 10, 10. You don't play that. That's a mara. Also, the plants are cute. Yeah. Now, let's start with... Let's go from the bottom. Tar Creeper. A 3 mana, 1, 5 taunt. Has to attack during your opponent's turn. That's actually really good. 3 mana, 3, 5. For something like that, you don't care about face damage. This is perfect. It's a Senjin that comes <clears throat> one turn earlier. Instead of, like, discarding a card... You, you, you don't do face damage. Big deal, right? You can, like use it to deal one damage to something, just in case you need it. This card is not much to talk about. It's like really good cards for defensive decks. Two mana, two three. Galaka Crawler. Destroy a parrot. Um, sure. Why not? I guess I don't know what to think about this card. Uh, let's look at pirates. Mm. Pirate. So you can kill a two one. You can kill a one one. That's not a pirate. You can kill a four four, but that's not played. You can kill a one one. Let me go to crafting. Any pirates? You can kill a. <laughs> you can kill a nine nine. <laughs> oh, that'll be amazing. You can kill a three four, which that's a good target. So it's. Good target, good target, good target. Good target. Okay target. Okay target, okay target. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So like, problem is, when you want to play it, it's an early game, so you don't get completely smacked. So kill a, a 2 mana 3-4 that kills a 1-1. One, one. 
It's okay. But you will never have more than one of in your deck, so can you get it consistently? And if you get it later, and you kill like a 2-3 like this, does it matter at that point? Because you might have taken too much damage. I don't know, you have to get it on turn 2. You have to kill a 2-1 to be good. And worse than 1-1, one, one. have something at 3-4 early to kill something, I guess, but... Mm. Gentle Megasaur, 4 mana, 5, 4 beast. Battlecry, adapt your Murlocs. Now, this. I love this card. Has good aggressive stats for Murloc decks. It works with the. Um, the Menagerie team. Like, um. Uh, Menagerie. Works with these things. Right? Even with the 3 1. It's a Zubat, that one. It works with this style because it's a beast, it's a murloc, and that's a beast. You can draw it with the curator, and you can make your like your board. If you can give your lower murlocs plus three health, it's so good. You can give them plus plus one plus one. You can get like a blood. You can bloodlust them with three attack permanently, or just. Fill your board with 1-1 one, one if they get cleared, or like Divine Shield, all of them. This card is so good if you have like 2 Murlocs. If you have 2 Murlocs on the board, it's bro broken, it's so good. I really love this card. And the last card, at least Trailblazer, 5 mana 5-5, five, five. good stats. Shuffle, uh, it's weird how a 4 mana 4-4 four, four is bad, but a 5 mana 5-5 five, five is good. It's an advantage, of course. Hearthstone. one. Shuffle a Sealed Angoro pack into your deck. Now this pack is a 2 mana card that adds 5 journey to Angora cards to your hand. And they said it's gonna be weighted, you have a guarantee legendary and an epic at least or like yeah I think it starts with like a legendary and at least an epic or from an epic down, something like that. So it's a really really good control card. That gives you a lot of value as another card to, to your deck for like fatigue, so Control Warrior has something else to play. Also, I like the team of like, <laughs> get a pack, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> cool. Um, is it better than J Golems? Now that's the big question we will... Can anything beat the J Golems? The fact that I have 3 J decks probably says no. Can anything beat Pirate Warrior and Aggressive X? Fuck me if I know. So we'll have to wait and see if it's, it's gonna work out, yeah? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Uh, I'm really hopeful because J can be a really cancerous uh, mechanic that's really unfun. I like they give you an Agoro pack in this Tamar bro. Just by the way, pretty um, mediocre. Just prefer to play ranked. Just play my Reno deck or Demons. It's really fun. But anyways, th those were all the guards. Review them. I need to go drink some water now. I probably talk way too much on all of them, but it's fun to. Hey, it's a filler video. You don't have to watch it. All good in the hood. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.